Today's video is brought to you in collaboration with Backswing.com, a golf publication offering insight from top pros for the game of golf. Visit Backswing.com today to help fix your game. Hi there and welcome back. My name is Richard Rice. I'm the PGA Director of Instruction at Colonial Heritage Golf Club. Today's topic is rotation in both the backswing and the downswing. And what I want to do is give you a few drills that's going to help you improve. Now, why do we want rotation? Well, if you like longer, straighter shots with less effort, this video might be for you. Stay tuned. Okay, before we get started, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit that little bell for notifications so you can see more great videos just like this one. Okay, so like I said, we're going to be talking about rotation, both backswing and downswing. The whole point of this video is just to give you some simple drills to help you work on it. So let's go ahead and start today right in the backswing. Now, I have a nice simple drill for you. What you're going to do is take your address position. You're going to take your lead hand off the club and you're going to extend your trail arm as far away from you as possible. Right? I want this arm about the nine o'clock position. In other words, it's parallel to the ground at this point. What I'm gonna do is leave it there and bring my left hand over to the club. Now what you're gonna notice is if I don't turn, I can't reach it. So it's gonna force me to turn my body back, reach the club, and let's go ahead and swing through. So let's try that again. Here, here, and through. Okay, so the next drill is along the same lines. What we're gonna do is we can actually hit balls with this one here. So we'll take our setup position. We're gonna split our grip like a hockey stick here. And what I'm gonna do is swing all the way back with both arms extended. Then I'm gonna slide my right arm down and I'm gonna swing through from there. Now this is a tough one. So I'd recommend that you generally tee the ball up for this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and tee it up myself here. Now the point here is not to create perfect contact every time, but just to create and learn the feel of good rotation. So I've got some good air under this ball. I'm going to split the grip all the way back, slide the right hand down, and through. All right, now we got two drills for you that are going to improve your rotation in the downswing. All right, drill number one is one of my favorites here, and this is, this is a good one with good feedback. So the whole goal of this drill is to hit shots and finish right in this position here. So I want my hat, my chest, my belt, my arms in the club all extended, all pointed out in the direction of the target. Now, if I do this incorrectly, I'm gonna finish more in this look here where the club's pointed up to the sky. Why would that be incorrect? Well, again, we're focusing on better rotation here through the shot. If I can rotate through really well, I'm gonna be able to stop my hands and arms from allowing that club to release. If I don't rotate through very well, that club's gonna release too soon. It's gonna go up in the sky. So this drill looks a lot like this. Perfect. Okay, so the final drill can be used for both the downswing and the backswing. We'll focus on the downswing aspect of it, but I give this drill to many of my students on a daily basis, and what I find is that most of them can do this pretty well when they're not swinging their club. We put a club in their hands and they struggle with this. Well, I give this drill to them and they do it once or twice, they realize they're good at it, and they never do it again. That defeats the purpose, right? So we need to keep doing that drill. This, this rotation and the pivot and the golf swing is one of the most foundational fundamentals we can learn and practice. So if you're not practicing your rotation, what are we really doing here? You know, rotation is so important in the golf swing. Let's make sure we're practicing it. So what we're gonna do, we're going to first turn back. Then we're gonna to tilt towards the ball. We'll stand back up, we'll turn through to the target and tilt back towards the ball. So what we have to learn to do is blend these tilts and turns into our golf swing. And almost every golf lesson I give to amateurs, there is some sort of loss of posture in, in, in shoulder plane and spine tilt and all of this stuff and they're asking me why they're so inconsistent with their strike. Let's work on this drill. So what you're gonna do is five times back and through, making sure that this club is coming around on the right plane. After you've done that, you go ahead and hit three golf balls 
and you're going to feel a, a, a solid improvement in your rotation here. So just a quick note here to round out this video, you know, people hear the word drill and, and they get kind of turned off and they think, you know, I just want to learn the feels of doing things the right way. And what I try to explain to people is that as human beings, we're all perceiving feels differently. So two of us could have a very similar looking swing, but the two of the two of us, it feels very different. So the whole point of these drills is to help you learn your own feel, right? So do the drill and then you tell me what it feels like. Don't, don't try to get the feel of a golf swing from another player. You have to learn your own feels in the game of golf. It's going to take you so much farther. Learn the fundamentals, turn those fundamentals into simple feels. That's going to help you free up your mind out on the golf course. Hopefully today's video helps you out big time. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much and have a great day.